Bonjour les amis. Alors ce matin, je vais vous parler d'un traitement alternatif du cancer en espérant n'être pas sanctionné par YouTube, à qui je signale tout de suite que ce traitement fait l'objet dans PubMed, site un official website of the United States government, l'objet de nombreuses études. De plus, euh, la FDA, la Food and Drug Administration, l'a approuvé en tant que traitement alternatif du cancer. Alors, je sais bien que les moteurs de recherche vont dire traitement alternatif, pof, on le met de côté. Mais par contre, je vous demande, YouTube, de mettre à jour vos algorithmes. On ne peut pas ne plus parler de l'évolution de la science. Sound waves could now be used to break down liver cancer tumors. The treatment is called hysteripsy and has the potential to become a non-invasive alternative to chemotherapy. Last week, the technique received FDA approval. Michelle Mindrietta Lala is a professor of radiology with Michigan Medicine and worked on the clinical trials. She says her trials have shown encouraging results. It's very exciting that even in my clinical trials that I had, um, we have patients that are now two years after treatment without recurrence of the tumor that we treated. So it's a very exciting time for cancer therapy. Currently, the treatment is only approved to treat liver tumors. I'm Taylor Bowie. Alors oui, les amis, vous avez entendu, pour l'instant, cela n'a été approuvé que pour le cancer du foie. Mais c'est magnifique, dans la mesure où il y a très peu de rescapés du cancer du foie. Et ça, c'est une ouverture fantastique, une recherche fantastique, je le répète. Gouvernement américain, approuvé par la Food and Drug Administration. Donc, YouTube, oui, c'est un traitement alternatif, tout nouveau, ne le sanctionne pas. It was just truly amazing to see it just erasing the tissue in front of my eyes. That's what it looked like. Imagine a cancer treatment that can destroy tumors with nothing but sound. Hysotripsy is a non-invasive interventional technology that uses ultrasound to break up the target disease tissue. Pioneered by University of Michigan researchers and developed for clinical use by Minneapolis-based company Histosonics, Histotripsy is a promising alternative for cancer treatment. After a 20-year journey, Histotripsy could soon be used to treat liver cancer patients now that the Food and Drug Administration cleared the use of Histosonics Histotripsy delivery device in hospitals worldwide. This milestone is something that we've been marching toward for years now, and we're right at the cusp. Histotripsy as a technique to treat cancer, as a combined technique with systemic and immunotherapies, will hopefully change the future of cancer treatment. I'm really excited for that. Because it is difficult to detect, liver cancer is often diagnosed in later stages when surgery may not be an option. That leaves chemotherapy and radiation treatments, but these can cause severe side effects that may take months to recover from or even cause long-term damage. Histotripsy offers an option that homes in far more precisely on the tumor with minimal recovery for the patient. Histotripsy actually uses microsecond ultrasound pulses to activate the nanometer gas pockets in our body and then generate micro bubbles and make the micro bubbles expand and collapse within a very short time frame. And that creates very high mechanical strain and stress to disrupt the disease cells, such as the tumor cells. There really isn't much of a recovery. After you come out of general anesthesia, many patients ask if the procedure was even done because they don't feel any pain. They can just get up and walk out when they're done. To show its effectiveness, Histotripsy was used to treat patients with primary metastatic liver tumors across Europe and the United States during the Hope for Liver clinical trials. 
The treatments were administered using this robotic arm, developed by Histosonics, called the Edison Platform. Much like a traditional ultrasound device, it's positioned over the abdomen where clinicians can then use the platform to lock on to the target tumor. We're now at the treatment stage and everything's automated so the user will essentially enable the treatment and then monitor in real time via the ultrasound feedback as the robot traverses our planned treatment volume. After we discovered the histochipsy phenomenon, we spent a lot of effort in the lab to actually build specialized equipment instrumentation so that we can really use it in the clinical setting. The university team in their diligence showed a great body of research showing the capability of the therapy and it was up to us to make it into a product. This is a treatment region, right? This is a, a dark color ablation zone. Outside that spherical region, there's no other dark color zone indicating there's nothing getting damaged. With the success of human trials and now FDA approval, hospitals will be able to purchase the Edison platform, offering histotripsy as a viable treatment alternative. As we see cancer affecting younger and younger patients, um, and often the younger patients don't have surveillance, so when they present, they're already at advanced stage, and hopefully histotripsy can make a difference in helping these patients. I'm just really excited to see histotripsy used in a wider patient population. This will allow us to extend the histotripsy in the future for other applications such as renal tumor, pancreatic tumor, or even beyond the cancer such as neurological applications and the cardiovascular applications. There's just so many things that this, this type of technology and this system has the potential to bring to healthcare. N'est-ce pas fantastique nouvelle Et comptez sur moi pour vous informer dès que ce traitement approuvé par la FDA sera valable pour d'autres types de cancers. Merci les amis, je vous souhaite une très bonne journée et si vous avez un cancer du foie, précipitez-vous. Merci les amis, très bonne journée.